Hey yo, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens. It's Omni Dog here with part two of how to build a collection, the essentials that you need to build a collection. And we'll start with uh, something that I, I am familiar with building a collection around because I was not the biggest X Man X Men reader uh, when I started. I had uh, you know. 50 years of DC reading behind me and virtually none of it was X-Men. Uh, but Third Eye Comics in Annapolis turned me on to new X-Men to start out with. And this was a great recommendation because it introduced me to... Well, that's not a good one to start you out with. Oh, that's all sideways stuff. My favorite characters, Emma Frost and the Stepford Cuckoos who I began a mad love affair with. I love Emma Frost and the Stepford Cuckoos. This is all sideways. Um, I love Emma Frost and the Stepford Cuckoos. And you can just get dropped in this book and not have any prior knowledge. I mean, I had the basics. I knew who Cyclops was and Beast and Professor Xavier. And, you know, I didn't, I, I don't have, I wasn't burdened with any of the stuff of who was dead and who came back to life and, whose grandmother ended up being their own daughter or whatever. So it, it wasn't a problem. It was probably better to that I didn't have any of that knowledge. But New X-Men is in print, and it's in this big omnibus, if you want the big omnibus, or I'm sure it's available in trade paperbacks. But uh, this is an excellent way to experience the X-Men. I loved this book. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I'm due for a reread on it. Because Grant Morrison writes this, and he is great. I don't know if he likes writing superheroes, but boy, he can do it. He knows how to do it. He writes them extremely well. He writes enough superheroes so that he he must like it. He's doing Green Lantern right now, so he does it really well. Uh, this has got Frank Quitely on a lot of the art, and um, I like his art. Some people don't, but I do. So... Uh, yeah, New X-Men, highly recommend this be part of your collection to just get started on X-Men in your collection. Then the next book, I apologize, is the only way I own it, but it is available in trade paperbacks. Um, uh, this is an out-of-print one. It, you can find it for $100 sometimes on eBay. It's a $75 book, but there are collections collected editions and trade paperback out there that's astonishing x-men by joss whedon and john cassidy john cassidy is an excellent artist in this book and i loved this book it was an awesome read i started out in trades and then i read it in and i got it grabbed it in omnibus format and it's just wonderful joss whedon it's obvious uh he has a love for comics this is a love letter to the x-men and it's really wonderfully written, and it's wonderfully done. And um, I just got a huge kick out of it. I just think it's a, a, a super great, uh, fun, fun blast of X-Men in it. And um, I highly recommend you get the trades of this. Uh it's just great. So read New X-Men, then read Astonishing X-Men, and then don't get upset. This is the only one that I have um, of this book. It's Everybody's Whale, but it's available in trade collections, um, and those are just as good, and that's Uncanny X-Force. I wouldn't recommend dropping in to read this first. I'd read some X-Men before this. It's got a ton of Wolverine in it and Psylocke. Phantom X, Archangel, and the best Deadpool that I've ever read. I think Rick Remender has a great voice for Deadpool in this book. And they're the uncanny X-Force, and they are the ones that kill. And they have a moral dilemma right from the get-go, uh, and it's really well done. And lots of adventure, lots of great stories, and it's really, really a great book book it's a classic and that's why everyone wants it in hardcover 
because not only is it hard to find, but it's just a great book and everybody wants it in hardcover because it's so well written and so well drawn. It's just such an excellent story. Uh, I highly recommend that if you are starting out in uh, your collection that you get the trades for this and you will be very happy once you have some X-Men knowledge under your belt. It is a great book. It is a wonderful book. That's Uncanny X-Force by Remender, with a lot of the uh, art by some of the greats. Right there. And let's talk about some of the other big heroes from Marvel. Uh, J. Michael Straczynski used to be the only way you could get his uh, books were these the best of Spider-Man books, but now they just came out with an omnibus of his stories. Um, and those are be that book is beautiful. I just saw a cover of it, and it is gorgeous. And he has written an excellent introduction, reintroduction of Spider-Man that is highly readable, very enjoyable. It's really well done. It also contains two of the worst Spider-Man stories ever. You can skip those. Uh, <laughs> let's see. One of them is One More Day. And I can't remember the other one. Sins Past, I think, is the other one. You can just skip those. Um, I don't. I can't remember where they occur um, in the omnibus, but... <laughs> They all. The book also contains some really, really great Spider-Man stories that are very new reader friendly. Um, and I highly recommend you get the JMS Omnibus that just came out. Uh, J. Michael Straczynski just came out. Um, you can't... There are five... Um, there, his run is these five books plus the other, plus Spider-Man back in black, Peter Parker back in black, and I think Spider-Man Brand New Day. I'm not sure, and I don't want to move my action figures to find out, but I think it's this the other, and then back in black. I don't think Brand New Day is by him. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter, because you're getting the omnibus that just came out, and you can get it for a discount from in-stock trades if you're in the United States, <clears throat> or if you're in Europe and on, on Amazon or book depository or someplace i'm sure you can get it cheaper than the uh, cover price so um that would be a great introduction to spider-man j michael straczynski or jms it's easier to say jms uh jms is spider-man that would be a great start to your collection how about the fantastic four um here's the problem with fantastic four um, I, I think the Stan Lee Fantastic Fours, as of right now, the first three volumes are out of print and I don't know how readable they really are. The Hickman Fantastic Fours require some knowledge of Fantastic Four and volume one is crazy out of print, even though you can get the collected editions. If you want to try and read the collected editions, you definitely can. That requires some Fantastic Four knowledge, I think. Um, but one thing you can jump into, and I think is good for the reader, new reader, friendly, and these are just the three oversized hardcovers, but there's an omnibus out there now for the new reader. That is Mark Wade and Mike Raringo's uh, Fantastic Four. And it is... Uh, very new reader friendly. Mark Wade is a great writer and a great guy. The late great Mike Waringo, also known as just Ringo, uh, is a great artist, and you can just drop right in and read this, understand it, and you'll dig it. I had no problem. This is one of the first Fantastic Four books I read, even uh, besides growing up with the Stan Lee stuff, which I read. Um, this was the first modern day uh, Fantastic Four I read, and I had no problem with it. You could easily build your collection around this. Uh, this is three volumes. Um, 
or you can uh, volume two is the one that was hard to find in this set but you can easily just go ahead and get the omnibus which is still in print and it's a brilliant book and i think you'd really enjoy it and i think you get a big kick out of it so fantastic four is a great essential for your collection now a lot of people like deadpool me included i love deadpool uh, so there are two ways to go with deadpool there is a giant uh omnibus out of Deadpool by Posen and Duggan and this I just kept the oversized hard oversized hardcovers this is hilarious I found this to be a hoot and a half to read I dug the whole thing it was a blast it is four or five volumes I can't remember which but it is just really well written really well done they have a great voice for Deadpool I got a big kick out of it. Let me check really quick how many volumes it is. And I can't, my headphones won't extend that far. Sorry. Uh, it's four or five volumes or a giant, and I mean giant omnibus. If you want to impress your friends or defend your home, get this omnibus. Deadpool by Posen and Duggan. It is huge. But I just kept the oversized hardcovers. Um, it is extremely funny. All five volumes, pretty sure there are five. It is really good. I got a big kick out of it, and I love Deadpool. Now, there's another way to do it. Uh, this is sadly out of print. I don't know why Marvel does this with its most popular character. A lot of the oversize, a lot of the uh, omnis of Deadpool are out of print for some reason, uh, but there are complete collections of this book that are in print, so you can get those. And that's Deadpool and Cable, which when it came out in floppy form was Cable and Deadpool. But they took advantage of Deadpool's popularity and decided to call it Deadpool and Cable. And this is considered the prime funniness, uh, action-packed, hilarious, well-written, uh, prime Deadpool um, It is awesome by Fabian Nicienza with Dan Slott and Riley Brown. And it is considered the peak of Great Deadpool. So I would get the illustrated, uh, illustrated, I would get the collected editions if I were you. Um, that way you can have um, this great book, which is considered uh, my friend, the uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, thinks this is the best Deadpool book, Deadpool book ever written. Uh, and who am I to disagree with him? So this is Deadpool and Cable, also known as Cable and Deadpool. Now you may be saying, Jess, where's all the Wolverine? That's a heck of a good, good question. Because a lot of it is out of print. I'm looking at my shelf right now. Wolverine by Frank Miller and Chris Claremont, out of print. Wolverine by Mark Miller, Omnibus, out of print. Wolverine by Jason Aaron, out of print. Wolverine Goes to Hell in print, but you need Jason Aaron's book to get it. Uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, out of print. Wolverine, the Return, to Weapon, the Return of Weapon X, I haven't read that, so I couldn't even begin to tell you where that falls. I, for their most popular character, I do not understand why Marvel lets those go out of print. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I don't know what to tell you except, and the Jason Aaron stuff, which is important to read because not only is it really good, but it leads into Goes to Hell, Wolverine Goes to Hell. Those trades are really hard to find. The first two are uh, impossible to find. They're out of print. And the Mark Miller, I think the Mark Miller trade paperbacks are out of print. Maybe the Wolverine... Frank Miller, Chris Claremont trades are in print. I don't know. You can check. Uh, it's frustrating. The only thing I can tell you is to try digital. Um, Comixology, maybe. It's very frustrating. Uh, Wolverine, I will tell you, if you want to read some good Wolverine and you're not opposed to trying something new, all new Wolverine is great. With X-23... Laura is his uh, replacement. Now he's back, 
but uh, or they're reintroducing him. But Laura is his replacement, and she's great. This is really well written by Tom Taylor. Six uh, six volumes. Every volume's a delight. Introduces a new character, Honey Badger. She has clones that all get... Well, I don't want to ruin it. She has clones. Honey Badger's her clone, and she has a pet Wolverine. It's really funny, really action-packed, and really great. This is my way of, of uh, shoehorning in a plug for all-new Wolverine. Um, that's all I can tell you about Wolverine. I don't know why... I, I, I don't even know. I mean, you can look for the trades, but I don't know what to tell you about... Wolverine, I'm really sorry. Um, uh, if you saw the movie Doctor Strange and you want to find some good Doctor Strange, there's some Silver Age Doctor Strange out there, but I don't know that I can recommend it. I mean, it's good for me because I grew up on, Do on Silver Age and I can read it. I would recommend the Jason Aaron Doctor Strange oversized hardcovers. There's two of them with art by Chris Bacalo. And it is a delight. It is, it is funny, scary, humorous, twisted, weird. Oh my gosh, it's so great. I love this book. This Doctor Strange is some of the best stuff out there, and it is remarkably great. Um, he is, Jason Aaron has a real feel for Doctor Strange. Uh, I highly recommend the two volumes by Jason Aaron. He is amazing. This Doctor Strange book he writes, the two oversized hardcovers, you will be delighted with it. Um, let's see. How about... Mm, okay. I've got another book that's good, and that is Jeff Leb and Tim Sale Loeb. And Tim Sale's Darede Yellow, Blue, Gray, Daredevil, Spider-Man, Hulk. And then he came out with Captain America, White. The reason I don't talk more about Captain America, I haven't read much Captain America. So I don't know where to tell you to start because the Ed Brubaker stuff is so hard to find. If you can find the Ed Brubaker stuff in trade paperback, you can start there. That'd be a good place to read it. Um, starting with the first books... Um, all the way through, you know, Trial of Captain America and things like that. Uh, but I'm not an expert on Captain America by any means. So I apologize for that flaw in my comic personality. But um, these books, this book, uh, Yellow, Blue, and Gray, is uh, really popular and for the simple reason that it's really well done. This is Jeff Loeb's probably one of the best things he's done tim sales artwork is pretty darn decent i'm not a big tim sale fan but it works and um it's really well done so you can start your collection these are easy to read and a lot of fun and then there's captain america white uh, there's a book out now that has all of those together, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, gray, and white. There's an omnibus out that has all of them together. I did not get that book, obviously, uh, but you can. So we're going to wind this down with my doing a plug for some easy-to-read, fun books that are... Trade paperbacks that you can just whip through and enjoy. You don't need to know anything. I don't know why I yanked all six of these or all five of them. Uh, you can whip through these books. They're a lot of fun. They're Marvel books. You don't need to have any knowledge going into them. But they're fun for your collection. The first is The Unbelievable Gwenpool. There are, I don't know why I grabbed all five of them. But the unbelievable Gwenpool, the premise is she's from our Earth and she gets dropped into Earth 616, the cartoon Earth of Marvel. And she knows all the ins and outs and the tricks of that uh, universe. 
and it is she constantly is breaking the fourth wall. It is hilarious and fun. She gets a sidekick. She knows how to work all the different twists and turns of the cartoon universe, and she is ju- it is just a hoot. And I love this book, and I think you will too. Um, it is just a, she's a superhero for hire. She knows she can't be killed, and it is just great. I loved Unbelievable Gwenpool, and I think you should have it in your collection. Another Marvel book that is great, I don't know why I pulled all the extra editions out, is Scarlet Witch by James Robinson. Uh, This is three issues with some of the great art that you will see. Uh, Magic is in trouble, and the Scarlet Witch is trying to fi- fix it. Magic is broken, really, and the Scarlet Witch... I'm having trouble. Scarlet Witch is trying to fix it, and it is nothing short of tremendous. This book is awesome. I read Scarlet Witch. It's three volumes, and it's got great art and great writing. James Robinson wrote a great book here. Uh, two volume set that you can have in your collection and you don't need to have any prior knowledge of is Electra with uh, it's by Blackman. Let's see, I always forget his first name. W. Hayden Blackman with Michael Del Mundo art. It is great. First one's called Bloodlines. I mean, look at this art. You don't need to know anything about Electra except she's an assassin and she's out to um, she's out to um, get revenge on all these other assassins in it. And um, it's tremendous. Tremendous art, tremendous story. It's two volumes. It'd be really good for your collection to have because she is a boss killer in this book. She goes after it in this book, and it's it rips. I love this book. Uh, a fun fun story that I dug is the Unstoppable Wasp. It came back and had like a 12, 10, 12 issue run. This is a good all ages book, but I enjoyed it too. These are the first two books, and then I think it came back and got renumbered. The Unstoppable Wasp is basically a bunch of brilliant. Uh, young girls that fight crime um, and they do it in a very stylistic hilarious way and it is a ton of fun man when you get tired of uh, your typical superhero antics read the unstoppable wasp because it is a blast Um, and then we will finish with he's he's been in the big movie Endgame, and he has three books that are great. They don't have any... Well, the first two have something to do with each other. First one's called Thanos Returns by Jeff Lemire. That Jeff Lemire, everything he writes is great just about. Um, This is a remarkable book about Thanos... Thanos uh, is out for revengeance, and he comes back, and it is two volumes, issues 1 through 12, and it turns out Thanos is dying in this, in the first two volumes. And this is 1 through 12 and uh, finished. 1 through 12, it's a complete story. Then in a separate one by Donny Cates, You don't need to know anything about Thanos other than what you saw in Endgame to read this. Then by Donny Cates, Thanos wins. This book rocks. It is amazing. And it's the introduction of the Cosmic Ghost Rider, which is a book that's apparently going for lots of money. Um, Thanos 13. Um... Great story. Great story. You should you should definitely get this book. Build your collection. Get this book in there. You don't need any prior knowledge. Just go ahead and get this book and you will be living the life with your Marvel collection. So, that is the end of the Essential Editions. 
of Marvel. I'll be back with DC and probably Image in the days to come. So thank you for tuning in. Please hit the like button. Leave a comment. I always respond to comments. And uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you very much.